Hello everyone. So how do you get in and get out of the bed of a cervical spine surgery? How to get in and get out of bed of a cervical spine surgery are anterior cervical discectomy and fusion. This is very important because after you underwent a cervical spine surgery, particularly the anterior cervical discectomy and fusion or anterior cervical carpectomy and fusion. Your surgeon would have placed a bone graft or a cage filled with bone graft in the place where you, either the disc is removed or the vertebral body is removed. So this cage which is filled with bone graft or the bone graft requires some time to fuse to your normal spine. In addition to bone graft, your surgeon would have placed a plate with few screws in it. So for the initial three months after a cervical spine surgery, this bone graft slowly fuses and forms a solid construct. So during this time, it becomes imperative that we prevent, we restrict the movements happening in between this vertebrae. So this explains why it is very important for you to learn how to get in and get out of the bed after cervical spine surgery. Okay. See this picture very carefully. Okay. So this patient had a cervical spine surgery. When you're trying to get into the bed, you try to get in at the middle of the bed. You, so you get into one edge of the bed. While getting into the bed, make sure that your legs are firmly planted on the ground. For this one, the bed should be of appropriate height. It should neither be too high nor too low. It should be of appropriate height so that your legs firmly rest on the floor when you are trying to get into the bed. Second important one, keep your back and neck as straight as possible. Do not slouch. Thirdly, if your surgeon has advised a cervical collar, do wear it. Particularly if your surgeon has advised a hard cervical collar, do not forget to wear it when you are trying to get into the bed. Second one, how do you lower yourself onto the bed? Lower down onto the bed, taking support from your elbow and also from your hand. Rest your hand on the pillow. Support the weight of your body on your hand and slowly come down. Slowly come down until your head touches the pillow. This moment should be gradual, steady. Do not make any rapid moments. Do not make any jerky moments. And during this manure, ensure that your head, ensure that your body, that is your trunk, neck, and head are in line. Do not let any twisting moments happen at your neck. Once you are on the bed, now, you can move, freely move either to the right or the left or sleep straightly in whichever, or sleep supine in whichever way you are comfortable. But what is important precaution you have to take when you are rolling over, take the support of your elbow and ensure that your head, your neck and the upper part of your trunk are in a single line. That is, do not twist at your neck. Am I clear? Do not twist at your neck. Fourth one. So how do you get out of the bed? The way you have rolled out, roll to one edge of the table. The way you go down to the bed, take the support of your hand and your elbow. Slowly, steadily get up from the bed. 
then support your weight on your hands slowly put your legs on the floor let them implant your feet firmly on the floor this completes you are coming out of the bed and then you can slowly and steadily get on to your legs and walk so these measures are very important and they significantly influence the outcome of the surgery so do ask your surgeon do ask your physiotherapist usually it's the physiotherapist people who make you sit make you walk make you stand after your surgery so usually they'll be explain you these things in detail and if they have doubts do not hesitate to ask them and follow these measures thank you